What is up, Odooers? Today, we're going to take a look at everyone's favorite subscriptions app feature, automations. With automation rules, you can save yourself from wasting time on tedious repeated tasks by using automatic actions to do your work for you. Time is money, and here at Stealthy Wood, we love money. So let's jump into our database and get those actions automated. To start, let's head to the subscriptions app and make our first automation rule. First, I'll head to configuration and then click on automation rules to see a list of all the rules we have set up in our database. Here we can see the name of the automation, the action it takes, and even what triggers the action. To add a new rule, we can click on the new button here in the upper left hand corner, but I've been working on a good rule right here, so let's take a look at it. We can use the first field here to give our action a name. This automation tells our salespeople to follow up with some of the less satisfied clients in order to get some feedback on how we can better serve their needs. So with that in mind, we've given it the name call less satisfied clients. We can set up the rules for our automation by defining what less satisfied means. For our purposes, we'll consider any satisfaction rating below 30% to count for this rule. So that being said, if you look at the rating satisfaction field, we have that set to less than and 30 for our percentage. We'll also want to make sure that the overfield directly above is set to one month, so we only include subscriptions from the past month. If we wanted to be even more specific with who this action targets, Odoo provides a ton of options to zero in on the subscriptions we need. For more information on those options, check the link in the description to check out our documentation on automation rules. With all those settings configured for the action, we can see how many subscriptions it will apply to at the bottom left of this section. We can even click on this blue nine subscriptions link to see exactly which subscriptions are being counted. That way we can ensure it's targeting the right people. All right, so now that we know we've got the right subscriptions included, let's make sure that we've told this automation rule what action to take. In the action section right here, we'll make sure that the action to do field is set to create next activity. This means when our automation is triggered, a new activity is made. Other options include the ability to send an email or an SMS and even change the health value of a contract. To set the conditions in the trigger on area here, we have it to timed condition. Below that for the trigger date, we have this set to the start date of a sales order. And finally, we have the delay after trigger field set to one month. Now let's break this down a bit. We're telling our automation to complete its action one month after the start date of the customer sales order. That should be plenty of time to follow up with our customers. Now that we've got our customer locked in and our trigger set up, what's left to make sure that this automation is finished? The activity we want the automation to do, of course. Scrolling down to the very bottom, taking a look at the activity section now, we can see a bunch of fields that we can use to define what kind of activity we want to happen. First, let's start by making sure the activity type here is set to to do, to create a to do activity. And then in the due date section, we can set this to five days. Next, we can use the assign to field here to change this to subscription salesperson. And to make sure this task is clear for a salesperson, we'll also want to add a title to the activity. We can make this something like feedback call. And then we'll also leave a note, and that note will be, please call the client to get some feedback about their subscription. Alrighty, that's looking great. Now let's piece all of our settings together and see how this automation works. All said and done, one month after the subscription starts for any customer with a satisfaction rating below 30%, the automation is triggered. Once that happens, a to-do activity is created for one of the subscription salespeople, which will have five days to complete and tell them to call the client for feedback on how their subscription's going. And just like that, we've saved ourselves a ton of extra work. Now we can choose to simply save this automation and let it trigger whenever the conditions are met, or we can go ahead and click the trigger now button and apply the automation immediately. Then we can click on okay to confirm in the pop-up here. And now this rule has officially been triggered. And just like that, Odooers, you've set up a powerful automation for your subscriptions. Thanks for watching, and remember, Odooers, automation rules.